A woman approaches her yoga mat. She sits in the lotus position. Sighs. She is reluctant. Okay. I told myself I was going to do this today. Finally. Start my own home meditation and yoga practice. Everybody says it's supposed to be so good for me. I highly doubt it will do anything because I get so aggravated with silence. It's boring. Like right now, I have a zillion things to do and instead I'm just sitting here. She peeks open one eye and looks at the clock. It hasn't even been a minute. Oh, Lord, I used to sit for hours in study hall back in college. How did I sit still back then? I was probably hung over or maybe fell asleep. Oh, I can just remember all those sheets I used to have. Awful plaid red, a hand-me-down from Sarah. Why did I always inherit her stuff? She got the new one, I got her used. Sarah's hair looks so bizarre in that dark red tint. She wanted to look just like Melanie. Oh God, Melanie's potato salad last week, so good. How does she cut the potatoes in such a way that the perfect amount of mayonnaise would stick to them? Am I hungry? I am. I am hungry, now. Uh, now I'm gonna have to go to the, the store to pick up what? Pickles? Yes! Sour cream and onion chips? No, no, today needs to be a healthy day. I have to stay disciplined. I have to fit into that dress. Anna's gonna fit into hers without even trying. Plus, it's so easy for her. She never gains weight, and I remember seeing her eat two servings of chili the other night. Why did I luck out with that no metabolism gene? I also got my dad's nose and feet. That's a lot. The clock alarm beeps. She turns it off. Well, so much for meditation. I obviously don't need it. I need potato chips. Where are my keys? <laughs>